Part on today, that seven of our reading. I'm reading this all in one day because I was not able to read them before. Today we are reading <laughs> in today's reading or in data seven's reading. Data seven's reading we have uh Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight to chapter thirty two. Let's get right into it. Chapter twenty eight. Now it shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God. You can take your Bible and read along with me. Because my Bible might not, might not be in the same version as your Bible. It might like a specific version. So take the Bible, read along. Don't mind the background noise. <laughs> Someone's walking by and playing music. Chapter 28. Chapter 28. Now it shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God. To observe carefully all these commandments which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth, and all the and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you, because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, the produce of your ground, and the increase of your earth, the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your livestock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall be you blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out the lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face they shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways the lord will command the blessing on you in your storehouses and in all to which you set your hand and will bless you in the land which the lord your god has given you the lord will establish the lord will establish you as a holy people to himself just as he has sworn to you if you keep the commandments of the lord your god and walk in his way then all peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the lord and they shall be afraid of you and the lord will grant you plenty of goods in the fruit of your body in the increase in the increase of your livestock and in the produce of your grant in the land of which the lord swore to your fathers to give you the lord will open to you his good treasures the heavens to give the rain to your land in its season, and to bless all the works of your hand. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not, and not be beneath. If you eat the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, and are careful to observe them, so you shall not turn aside from any of the words which I command you today, to the right or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. But if you shall, but it shall come to pass, if you do not obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you today, that all these causes will come upon you and overtake you. Cost shall you be in the city, and cost shall you be in the country. Cost shall you shall your basket and your kneading bowl. Cost shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Cost shall be the fruit of your body and the produce of your land, the increase of your cattle and the offspring of your flocks. Cursed shall you be when you come in, and cursed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will send on you cursing, confusion, and, rebu and rebuke, in all that you set your hand to do, until you are destroyed and until you perish quickly, because of the wickedness of your doings, in which you are forsaken me. The Lord will make the plague cling to you until he has consumed you from the land, which, which you are going to possess. The Lord will strike you with consumption, with fever, with inflammation, with severe burning fever, with the sword and scorching, and with mildew, they shall, they shall pursue you until you perish, and your heavens which are over your head shall be bronze, and the earth which is under you shall be iron. The Lord will change the rain of your land to powder and dust. From the heaven it shall come down on you until you are destroyed. The Lord will cause you to be defeated before your enemies. You shall go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and you shall come and you shall become troublesome to all the kingdoms of the earth your carcasses shall be shall be food for all the birds of the air and the beasts of the earth and no one shall frighten them away the lord will strike you with the boys of egypt with tumors with the scab and with the itch from which you cannot be healed and the lord will strike you with madness and blindness and confusion of earth and you shall grope at noonday as a blind man gropes in darkness you shall not prosper in your ways you shall be only oppressed and plundered continually no and no one shall save you you shall betroth a wife but another man shall lie with her you shall build a house but you shall not dwell in it you shall plant a vineyard but shall not gather its grapes 
Your ox shall be slaughtered before your eyes, but you shall not eat of it. Your donkey shall be violently taken away from before you, and shall not and shall not be restored to you. Your sheep shall be given to your enemies, and you shall have no one to rescue them. Your sons and your daughters shall be given to another people, and your eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all day long. And there shall be no strength in your hand. A nation whom you have known, whom you have not known, shall eat the fruits of your land and the produce of your labor, and you shall be and you shall be only oppressed and crushed continually. So you shall be driven mad because of the sight of which your eyes see. The Lord will strike you in the knees and on the legs with severe boils which cannot be healed, and from the sole of your foot to the top of your head, the Lord will bring you and the Lord will bring you and the king whom you sent whom you set over you to a nation, which neither you nor your father have done. And there you shall serve other gods, wood and stone, and you shall become an astonishing all nations, a proverb and a byword among all nations, where the Lord will drive you. You shall carry much seed out, of, out to the field, but gather little in, for the locusts shall consume it. You shall plant vineyards and tend them, but you shall neither drink of the wine, nor gather the grapes, for the worms shall eat them. You shall have olive trees throughout all your territory, but you shall not anoint yourself with the oil, for your olives shall drop off. You shall beget sons and daughters, but they shall not be yours, for they shall go into captivity. Locusts shall consume all your trees and the produce of your land. The alien who is among you shall rise higher and higher above you, and you shall come down lower and lower. Oh, time. And you shall come down lower and lower. He shall lend to you, but you shall not lend to him. He shall be the head, and you shall be the tail. Moreover, all these causes shall come upon you and pursue you and overtake you until you are destroyed, because you did not obey the voice of the Lord your God to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded you. And they shall be upon you for a sign and a wonder, and on your descendants forever, because you did not serve the Lord your God with joy and gladness of heart. For, for the abundance of everything, therefore you shall serve your enemies, when the Lord will send against you, whom the Lord will send against you in hunger, in thirst, in nakedness, and in, and in need of everything, and he will put a yoke of iron on your neck until he has destroyed you. The Lord will bring a nation against you from afar, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies, a nation whose language you will not understand, a nation of fierce countenance, which does not respect the elderly, nor show favor to the young, and they shall eat the increase of your livestock. And the produce of your land until you are destroyed. They shall not leave you. They shall not leave you grain, or new wine, or oil, or the incense, or the increase of your or cattle, or the offspring of your flocks until they have destroyed you. This, they shall besiege you at all your gates until your high and fortified walls, in which you trust, come down throughout all your land. And they shall besiege you at all your gates throughout all your land, which the Lord your God has given you. You shall eat the fruit of your own body. The flesh of your sons and your daughters, whom the Lord your God has given you, in the siege and desperate streets in which your enemy shall distress you. The sensitive and very refined man among you will be hostile toward his brother, toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the rest of his children whom he leaves behind, so that he will not give any of them the flesh of his children whom he will eat, because he has, because he has nothing left in the siege and desperate streets in which your enemies shall distress you. At all your gates, the tender and delicate woman among you, who would not venture to set the sole of her, of her foot on the ground because of her delicate, because of her delicateness and sensitivity, will reveal to the husband of her bosom and to her son and her daughter, a placenta which comes out from between her feet and her children whom she bears, for she will eat them secretly for lack of everything in the siege and desperate streets in which your enemy shall distress you at all your gates. If you do not carefully Observe all the words of the, of this law that are written in this book, that you may fear this glorious and awesome name, the Lord your God. Then the Lord will bring upon you and your descendants extraordinary plagues, great and prolonged plagues, and serious and prolonged sickness. Moreover, will bring back on you all the diseases of Egypt, of which you were afraid, and they shall cling to you. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in this book of law will the Lord bring upon you until you are destroyed. You shall be left few in numbers, whereas you were as the stars of heaven in multitude. 
because you will not obey the voice of the Lord your God. And it shall be that just as the Lord rejoiced over you to do you good and multiply you, so the Lord rejoiced over you to destroy you and bring you to nothing, and you shall be plucked from all the land which you go to possess. Then the Lord will scatter you among all people, from one end of the earth to the other, and there you shall serve other gods, which neither you nor your fathers have known, wood and stone. And among those nations you shall find no rest, nor shall the soil of your foot have a resting place. But there the Lord will give you a trembling heart, failing eyes, and anguish of soul. Your life shall hang in doubt before you. You shall fear you shall fear day and night and have no assurance of life. In the morning you shall say, Oh, that is where evening, and at evening you shall say, Oh, that is where morning, because of the fear which terrifies your heart, and because of the sight which your eyes see. And the Lord will take you back to Egypt in ships, by the way of which I said to you, You shall never see again. And there you shall be offered for sale to your enemies as male and female slaves, but no one will buy you. One chapter. For 10 minutes, <laughs> 11 minutes. Woo. You're still going to chapter 2. Chapter 29. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses. I think all of this. If I use 10 minutes to read one chapter, and I'm reading five chapters, this will be like one hour. <laughs> These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab, besides the covenant which he made with them in Oreb. Now Moses called now Moses called all Israel and said to them, You have seen all that the Lord did before your eyes in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land. The great trials which your eyes have seen, the signs and those great wonders, yet the Lord has not given you a earth to perceive and eyes to see and ears to hear to this very day. And I have led you forty years in the wilderness. Your clothes have not worn out on you, and your sandals have not worn out on your feet. You have not eaten bread, nor have you drunk wine or similar drink, that you may know that I am the Lord your God. And when you came to this place, Sion, king of Beshbon, and Og, king of Bashan, came out against us to battle, and we conquered them. We took their land and gave it as an inheritance to the Rebenites, to the Gadites, and to half the tribe of Manasseh. Therefore, keep the words of this covenant and do them, that you may prosper in all that you do. All of you stand today before the Lord your God, your leaders and your tribes and your elders and your officers, all the men of Israel, you little ones and your wife, your little ones and your wives, also the stranger who is in your camp, from the one who cuts your wood to the one who draws your water, that you may enter into covenant with the Lord your God and into His oath, which the Lord your God makes with you today, that He may establish you today as a people for Himself. And that he may that and that he may be God to you, just as he has spoken to you, and just as he has sworn to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I make this covenant and this oath not with you alone, but with him who stands here with us today before the Lord our God, as well as with him who is not here with us today. For you know that we dwelt in the land of Egypt, and that we came through, and that we came through the nations which you passed by, and you saw their abominations and their idols which were among them, wood and stone and silver and gold, so that there may not be among you man or woman or family or tribe whose heart turns away today from the Lord our God to go and serve the gods of these nations, and that there may be not e and that there may not be among you a root bearing bitterness or one wood, and so it may not happen when it tears the wood. When he, the, when he hears the words of this course, that he blesses himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace, even though I follow the dictates of my heart, as though the drunk, as though the drunkard could be included with the sober. The Lord will not spare him, for then the anger of the Lord and his jealousy would burn against that man, and every course that is written in this book would settle on him, and the Lord will blot out his name from under heaven, and the Lord will separate him from all the tribes of Israel for adversity, according to all the causes of the covenant, that are written in this book of the law, so that the coming generation of the children who rise up, who rise up after you, and the foreigner who comes from a far land, would say, when they see the plagues of that land and the sickness and the sicknesses which the Lord has laid on it, the whole land is brimstone, salt, and burning. It is not sown, nor does it bear, nor does any grass grow there like the overture of Sodom and Gomorrah, Adma and Zeboim, which the Lord overture in His anger and His wrath. All nations would say, Why has the Lord done so to this land? What does the eat of this great anger mean? 
when people then people would say because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord God of their fathers which he made which he made with them when he brought them out of the land of Egypt for they went and served other gods and worshipped them gods that did not know them and as he had not given to them then the anger of the Lord was aroused against this land to bring on it every cause that is written in this book. And the Lord uprooted them from their land in anger, in wrath, and in great indignation, and cast them into another land, as it is this day. The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of his law. Chapter 30. Now it shall come to pass, when all these things shall come, when all these things come upon you, the blessing and the cause which I have set before you, and you call them to mind among all the nations where the Lord your God drives you, and you return to the Lord your God and obey his voice, according to all that I command you today, you and your children, with all your hearts and with all your soul, that the Lord your God will bring you back from captivity and have compassion on you, and gather you again from all the nations where the Lord your God has scattered you. If any of you are driven, are driven out to the farthest parts under heaven, from there the Lord your God will gather you, and from there he will bring you. Then the Lord your God will bring you to the land which your fathers possessed, and you shall possess it. He will prosper you and multiply you more than your fathers. And the Lord your God will circumcise your earth and the earth of your descendants to love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul that you may live. Also, the Lord your God will put all these causes on your enemies and on those who hate you, who persecute you, and you will again obey the voice of the Lord of the Lord and do all its commandments which I command you today. The Lord your God will make you abound in all the work of your hand, in the fruits of your body, in the increase of your livestock, and the produce of your land for good. For the Lord will again rejoice over you for good as he rejoiced over your fathers. If you obey the voice of the Lord your God to keep his commandments and his statutes which are written in this book of the law, and if you turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, for this commandment which I command you today is not too mysterious for you, nor is it far off. It is not in heaven, that you should say, who we are sent into heaven for us and bring it to us, that we may hear it and do it. Nor is it beyond the sea, not beyond the sea, that you should say, who will go over the sea for us and bring it to us, that we may hear it and do it. But the word is very near you, in your mouth and your heart, that you may do it. See, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil, in that I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in his ways. And to keep his commandments, his statutes, and his judgments, that you may live and multiply. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land which you go to possess. But if your heart turns away, so that you do not hear, and are drawn away, and worship other gods and serve them, I announce to you today that you shall surely perish. You shall not prolong your days in the land which you cross over the Jordan to go in and possess. I call heaven and earth as, witness, as witnesses today against you, that I have set before you life and death. Blessing and cursing, therefore choose life that both you and your descendants may live, that you may love the Lord your God, that you may obey his voice, and that you may cling to him, and that you may cling to him, for he is your life and the length of your days, and that you may dwell in the land in the land which the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to give them. Chapter 31. Then Moses went and spoke these words to all Israel, and he said to them, I am 120 years old today. I can no longer go out and come in. Also, the Lord has said to me, You shall not cross over this Jordan. The Lord your God himself crosses over before you. You will destroy these nations from before you, and you shall dispossess them. Joshua himself crosses over before you, just as the Lord has said, and the Lord will do to them as he did to Sion and Og, the kings of the Amorites and their land, when he destroyed them. The Lord will give them over to you, that you may do to them according to every commandment which I command you. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, he is one who goes with you. He will not leave you, nor forsake you. Then Moses called Joshua and said to him, in the sight of all Israel, Be strong and of good, and of good courage, for you must go out, for you must go with these people to the land which the Lord has sworn to their fathers to give them, and you shall cause them to inherit it. And the Lord, he is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear, do not fear, nor be dismayed. So Moses wrote this law and delivered it to the priests, the sons of Levi, who brought, who brought the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and to all the elders of Israel. And Moses commanded them, saying, At the 
at the end of every seven years, at the appointed time in the year of release, at the Feast of Tabernacles, when all Israel comes to appear before the Lord your God in the place which he chooses, you shall reach you shall read this law before all Israel in their hearing. Gather the people together, men and women, and little ones, and the stranger who is within your gates, that they may hear, and that they may learn to fear the Lord your God, and carefully observe all the words of this law, and that their children who have not known it may hear and learn to fear the Lord your God, as long as you live in the land which you cross the Jordan to possess. Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, the days approach when you must die. Call Joshua and present yourself. And present yourselves in the tabernacle of meeting that I may inaugurate him. So Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves in the tabernacle of meeting. Now the Lord appeared as a tabernacle in a pillar of cloud, and the pillar of cloud stood above the door of the tabernacle. And the Lord said to Moses, Behold, you rest with your fires, and these people will rise and play the allot with the gods of the foreigners of the land, where they go to be among them. And they will forsake me and break my covenant, which I have made with them. Then my anger shall be aroused against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured. And many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Have not these evils come up come upon us because our Lord, because our God is not among us, and I will surely hide my face in that day because of all the evil which they have done, in that they have turned to other gods. Now therefore write down this song for yourselves. And teach it to the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. When I have brought them to the land flowing with milk and honey, of which I swore to their fathers, and they have eaten and filled themselves and grown fat, then they will turn to other gods and serve them, and they will provoke me and break my covenant. Then it shall be, when many evils and troubles have come upon them, that this song will testify. We testify against them as a witness, for it will not be forgotten in the mouth of their descendants, for I know the inclination of their behavior today, even before I have brought them to the land of which I swore to give them. Therefore Moses wrote this song the same day, and taught it to the children of Israel. Then he inaugurated Joshua the son of Nun, and said, Be strong and of good and of good courage, for you shall bring the children of Israel into the land of which I swore to them, and I will be with him. So it was when Moses had completed writing the words of the of this law in the book, when they were finished, that Moses commanded the Levites who bore the ark of the covenant of the Lord, saying, "Take this book of the law and put it and put it beside the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, that it may be there as a witness against you. For I know, for I know your rebellion and your stiff and your stiff neck. In if today, while I am yet alive with you, you have been rebellious against the Lord, then how much more after my death? Gather to me all the elders of your tribes and your officers, that I may speak these words in their hearing, and call heaven and earth to witness against them. For I know that after my death, you will become utterly corrupt, and turn aside from the way which I commanded you. And evil will befall you in the latter days, because you will do evil in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger, through the work of your hands. There was a spoke in the hearing of all the assembly of Israel, the words of this song once they were ended. Give ye, O heaven, and I will speak, and ye, O earth, the words of my mouth. Let my teaching drop as the rain, my speech distilled as the dew, as rain drops on the tender up, and as showers on the grass. For I proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. He is the rock. His work is perfect, for all his ways are justice. A God of truth and without just um, without injustice, righteousness and upright, righteous and upright is he. They have corrupted themselves; they are not his children because of their blemish. A perverse and crooked generation. Do you thus deal with the Lord? Do you thus deal with the Lord, O foolish and unwise people? Is it not your father who bought you? Has he not made you and established you? Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask your father, and he will show you. Your elders and they will tell you when the most high divided their inheritance to the nations when he separated the sons of adam he set the boundaries of the peoples according to the number of the children of israel for the lord's portion is his people jacob is the place of his inheritance he found him in a desert land and in the wasteland a howling wilderness he encircled him he instructed him he kept him as the apple of his eyes as an eagle stares up its nest, overs over its young, spreading out its wing, taking them up, carrying them on its wings, 
So the Lord alone led him, and there was no foreign god with him. He made him ride in the height of the earth, that he might eat the produce of the field. He, may br he made him draw honey from the rock, and oil from the flinty rock, cuts from the cattle, and milk of the flock, with fat of lambs, and drams of the breed of, ba of Bashan, and goats, with the choicest wheat, and you drank wine, the blood of the grapes. But Jeshurun grew fat and kicked. You grew fat, you grew thick, you are obese. For then he forsook God who made him, and scornfully esteemed the rock of his salvation. They provoked him to jealousy with foreign gods, with abomination they provoked him to anger. They sacrificed to demons, not to God, to gods they did not know, to new gods, new arrivals that your fathers did not fear. Of the rock who begot you, you are unmindful. And have forgotten the God who fathered you. And when the Lord saw it, he spawned them because of the provocation of his sons and his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end will be, for they are a perverse generation. Ge children in whom is no fit. They have provoked me to jealousy by what is not good. They have moved me to anger by their foolish idols. But I will provoke them to jealousy by those who are not a nation. I will move them to anger by a foolish nation. For a fire is kindled in my anger and shall burn to the lowest hell. I, it shall consume the earth with our increase, and set on fire the fountains of the mountains. I will heap disasters on them. I will, set, I will spend my arrows on them. They will be wasted with hunger, devoured by pestilence and bitter destruction. I will also send against them the teeth, the teeth of beasts, with the poison of serpents of the dust. The sword shall destroy outside. They shall be, there shall be terror within. From the young man and virgin, the nursing child with the man of gray ears, I would have said, I would dash them in pieces. I would make the memory of them to cease from among them. Had I not feared the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should misunderstand, lest they should say, Our hand is I, and it is not the Lord who has done all this, for they are a nation void of counsel, nor is there any understanding in them. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this that they will consider their latter end. How could one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight? Or how could one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight unless their rock had sold them and the Lord had surrounded had sur had surrendered them? For their rock is not like our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges for for their vine is of the vine of Sodom, and of the and of the vines of Gom and of the, and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the poison of serpents, and the cruel venom of cobras. Is this not laid up in stock with me, sealed up among my treasures? Vengeance is mine. Whoa, that's all this food. Vengeance is mine and recompense. Their foot shall sleep in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things to come, and the things to come, hasten upon them. For the Lord will judge his people and have, and have compassion on his servants. When he sees that their power is gone, that their power is gone, and there is no one remaining, bound or free, he will say, Where are their gods? The rock in which they sought refuge, who ate the fat of their sacrifices, and drank the wine of their drink offering. Let them rise and help you, and be your refuge. Now see that I, even I, am he, and there is no God besides me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Nor is there anyone who can deliver from my hand, from my hand. For I raise my hand to heaven and say, as I live forever, if I wet, if I wet my glittering sword and my hand takes hold on judgment, I will, re I will render vengeance to my enemies and repay those who hate me. I will make my arrows drunk with blood, and my sword with, shall defy flesh with the blood of the slain and the captives. From the heads of the leaders of the enemy, rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants and render vengeance to his adversaries. He will provide atonement for his land and his people. So Moses came with Joshua, the son of Nun, and spoke all the words of this song in the hearing of the people. Moses finished speaking all these words to Israel, and he said to them, Set your hearts on all the word which I testify among you today, which you shall command your children to be careful to observe all the words of this law, for it is not a fitter thing for you, because it is your life, and by this word you shall prolong your days. 
in the land which you cross over the Jordan to possess. Then the Lord spoke to Moses that very same day, saying, Go up this mountain of the Abarim, Mount Nebo, which is in the land of Moab, across from Jericho. View the land of Canaan, which I give to the children of Israel as a possession, and die on the mountain which you ascend, and be gathered to your people, just as Aaron your brother died on Mount Or, and was gathered to his people, because you trespassed against me among the children of Israel at the water of Meribah Kadesh, at the water of Meribah Kadesh, in the wilderness of Zin, because you did not allow me in the midst of the children of Israel. Yet you shall see, yet you shall see the land before you, though you shall not go there into the land which I am giving to the children of Israel. The end of today's reading. 30 minutes. I thought it would be like 50 minutes because I was reading because I was reading one chapter for 10 minutes. But let's go. We are at the end now. Thank you very much for watching this video. And God bless you. I'll uh, make sure I record the other videos and post them. Maybe tomorrow. I'm doing two chapters per day until I fulfill all the chapters that I mixed. So thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video.